So in this video, this is one of Trump's uh, advisors goes head to head with uh, Jake Tapper at CNN and they just get into a heated battle. One thing I'm realizing now is it seems like as Joe Biden continues to become, I don't know, whatever he's doing now, it comes apparent that Trump is becoming more popular. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think that Trump is going to win 2024? Maybe Biden's going to be back in 2024, which would be crazy. But um, it uh, seems like more and more people, are, I, I think, are coming out of the woodwork trying to defend uh, Trump back into the White House. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, let's jump into the video. 24-7. I, I have no idea why you you're attacking have, me. Well, I'll my, explain my, to my, you. My yeah, point I'll, is, I'll tell you why I'm Steve attacking Bannon, you. Steve you can Bannon, have, Jake, you can have a 24-7. Help push the president's travel ban. Well, he helped, that, he helped I'm, pull, pull I'm out. I'm so glad you brought that up. Let because just, that's one of the fake Steven, news Steven, items in the book. Steven. I would happen to know better than you would, Jake, about how the travel ban was written. Let Steve, me, Bannon, Steve Bannon didn't push the travel if ban. If you would let me ask this question. No, because you have 24 hours of negative anti-Trump hysterical coverage on this network that led in recent weeks Winks is some spectacularly think, embarrassing false reporting. I think the viewers from your right now can ascertain no, who's the being hysterical. No, the viewers are entitled my, to have my, three months of the truth. Why don't you just give me three minutes to tell you the truth about Donald Trump that I know, and then all of our campaign staff Because it's know, my show, and, and I don't all, want to do that. So well, the, this here's, my, this here's my question. No, but this here's, isn't this isn't a Stephen, courtroom, and I have Stephen, a right to speak. settle down. Settle it, down. Calm look, down, Jake. I have a question for you about issues. Stephen Bannon, who the president says. Uh, had nothing to do with his presidency. He was part of the president's travel ban. He was part of pulling out of the Paris climate deal. He was part of withdrawing from the TPP. He's part of border security. He's t part of being tough on okay, immigration. So you want to go He's through the list? Of, no, I don't want to go through, but my point is, is it okay. really the position of the Trump White House that Steve Bannon had nothing to do with the presidency? Or can you acknowledge the reality <laughs> that he was a key player? I think that what the point is, is that his role has been greatly exaggerated, whereas the president hasn't gotten the due that he deserves for the movement that he put together to tap into the kinds of people whose life concerns don't get a lot of attention on CNN. Not a lot of hours of coverage on this TV talking about the working class construction workers who've lost their jobs to foreign labor. There's not a lot of coverage on this TV about the people getting slaughtered in sanctuary cities. You don't do a lot of human interest stories about immigrant communities under siege from MS-13. He tapped into a reality that is happening in this country that's not covered on this network. And I know you think I'm interrupting you, but I think the American people deserve to have two or three minutes of the truth. And we've let you, and we've no, let you no, talk. No, oh. here's the truth. I travel with Donald Trump all across the country and the world. I would, I would be with the president on a campaign plane with a rally in 20 minutes, and he would be you've able to come up. You've already made this point, Stephen. He'd be able to come up with material yeah, you've, already made this, you've already, made, you've already said that. We let you say that at the, top, at the top. According to the New York Times, Special Counsel Robert Mueller has in his possession an early draft of a letter that you helped write in May 2017 detailing reasons to fire FBI Director James Comey. According to the newspaper, the first line of the letter mentions the Russia investigation. Did you write a letter outlining reasons to fire Comey and list the Russia investigation? I Is that true? Here's, here's the problem with what you're saying. The final draft of the letter... The one that was I'm made, not talking about that one. I'm talking about hey, the one that hey, Comey you, has hey, that mentions if you Russia. Want, if you want to have an answer to your question and not to get hysterical, then I'll answer it. <laughs> the final draft of the letter has the same line about the fact that there is a Trump-Russia investigation that this has nothing to do with. So it was just moved from it the top just, to the bottom? No. It said, no, look at the letter. It's mm -hmm. the beginning. The, the, the investigation is referenced in the beginning of the final letter that was released to point out about the fact that notwithstanding having been informed that there's no investigation that the um that the move that is happening is completely unrelated to that so it was a it was a disclaimer mm -hmm. it, it appeared in the in the final version of the letter that was made public i want to ask you um because you you obviously are very offended by the notion that this book fire and fury paints a picture of president trump trump is not mentally up to the job um on saturday president trump put out a series of tweets trying to defend himself on this issue of fitness. And he said, quote, actually throughout my life, my two greatest assets have been mental stability and being like really smart. Crooked Hillary Clinton also played these cards very hard and as everyone knows, went down in flames. I went from very successful businessman to top TV star to president of the United States on my first try. I think that would qualify as not smart, but genius and a very stable genius at that. Do you think tweets like that help or hurt the cause that the president is stable and up for the job? Not only do I think they help it, but I think in the toxic environment that you've created here in CNN and cable news, which is a real crisis of legitimacy for your network, and we saw it, of course, with the 
extremely fake news you reported about the Don Jr. and WikiLeaks story. There was a huge embarrassment for your network. Stephen. Just like the huge embarrassment you had when you got the Comey testimony wrong. Stephen, I'm trying to get to the issue of the president's fitness, which a lot of people well, are Well, I'm getting to the issue of your no, fitness, you're... but the president's, the president's tweets absolutely reaffirmed the plain spoken truth. A self-made billionaire revolutionized reality TV and tapped into something magical that's happening in the hearts of this country. The people that the you president don't... The has approval people, rating in the 30s. I don't know what people, magical you're talking people, about. The people that you don't connect with and understand, the people whose manufacturing jobs have left, who've been besieged by high crime communities, and who've been affected by a policy of uncontrolled immigration, those voices, those experiences, don't get covered on this network. That's so, why, the, I, mean, I mean, to prove the point, I was, I was booked to talk about the very issues I'm just describing, and you're not even asking about them, because they're not interesting facts to you. That's not true. I have plenty of questions on immigration. And there, and there, You've attempted to filibuster by talking about your flight no, to the I'm president. Not, I'm, no, I'm not. I want to ask you a question, because don't, you, No, you, don't you, be you, condescending. You, Jake, Jake. Stephen. Jake, the president the reason, and the no, White House. The reason why the I want to talk and the about... White, the president Jake, and the White House. the reason why I want to talk about the president's experiences, what I've seen with him traveling to meet dozens of foreign leaders, with his incredible work. Okay, you're not answering major, the questions. No, I understand. You have 24 hours a day of anti-Trump material. You're, being, and you're not going to give three minutes for the American people I to get hear it. the real experience you're, you, of you, Donald Trump. There's one viewer that you care about right now, and you're being obsequious. No, you're being which, a factotum no, in order you're to being, please him. Okay. No, and I think, you know, I've you know I, I think I've wasted enough of my you viewers' time. I, you know who Thank I you, care Stephen. about? As Republicans, hey, lawmakers call for Attorney General Jeff Sessions to resign. Man, I tell you. He didn't stand down to him. Jake just couldn't handle him. Uh, I, I, you know, I can understand why people can still can, can support, uh, Democrats can still can support Joe Biden for what he's done in this country, leaving it wide open like that. Whether we, we get Trump in there or not, we need somebody to come in there and close the border to get these things under control. I just can't believe people are still def trying to defend him to keep him as president. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Biden should be... Another four years or do we need Trump back in there to make things better? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.